Sheldon, we've, we've talked to you a few times so far, but this is the first time, I guess, since the season's been going. Um, I know you're an experienced guy, but this is your first year with, with the new team. How would you kind of assess how you've kind of fit in and how the first two games gone for you? Uh, I think I fit in very well with the guys. You know, we got a real team, real family around here. Coach Gus Hart's on that our time, and I'll talk to the guys uh, after practice and stuff like that. And uh, I think we really bought in as a team. I feel, I feel like I played well. Sheldon, you guys, as a second year, you have four interceptions so far. This what is it about what you guys have been able to do maybe key in to, to get some of those takeaways and you feel like that's something you guys can continue to carry and prove to you? Uh, absolutely. Uh, we're a talented group. We try to go out there where we can prove that we're talented and show our talents in the best way we can. So we go in there, we, uh, we attack everything with detail. So like uh, in meetings and things like that, we're just listening very well. We're all keyed into things we, that can come our way necessarily in the games and learn our opponents. Sheldon, obviously, you know, you're going to face a number of mobile quarterbacks throughout the year. Um, when it comes to that, usually the uh, defensive front is say, well, they got to watch, you know, the, the mobile quarterback. But from the DB perspective, what is it that you guys need to do a little different or maybe prepare for in the case of a mobile quarterback? You know, uh, if you're in zone coverage when a uh, quarterback is scrambling, you know, you want to kind of match your man. So uh, scramble drill, things like that, kind of keep your eyes placed on your man is a big thing kind of going to the team. What's the sense of urgency with this being a big 12 opener and it occurring on the road? Uh, we have a sense of urgency with everything we do. So um, we try to uh, focus on us, focus on more of us, and uh, what we're going to do as far as the next week. And, um, yeah. The DB room has had a very successful uh, two weeks against St. Louis and New Hampshire, but you're going to TCU. How do you make sure that your guys still stay with that same competitiveness and, and the success that they've had? You know, we got a group that uh, is, is, is full of like minded men. So uh, we're all trying to hold each other accountable to that same standard every day. So we got set, we got set. So we have set, um, Coach T. Reed and Coach Addy have done a great job to make sure we understand that standard. So we're going to live up to that standard to the best of our abilities. I know, I know this is your first year at UCF, but do you sense a sense of hunger from the guys since you played your last year here about getting back in the Big 12 play and kind of proving themselves as this one of the main members of this conference? Oh, absolutely. Um, very excited. Like I already said, um, a lot of guys in early in, uh, early in the day on an off day. So that's a, that's a huge, that's a good sign. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Very excited. When you've gone back and looked at the film, how much do you guys have been benefiting off of the pressure that's been able to be created in the front court that you guys have so far? Man, the pressure has been, uh, been crazy. Um, that, that pressure definitely changes the game. And so uh, we, we, we try to be a defense and, and help out. So the front being, uh, being so disruptive, uh, we try to be a secondary, you know what I'm saying? Make sure we're on our keys because a lot of plays will come our way with that happening. You, you Nigel Lee, and uh, Mac all had big games Saturday. Uh, with you guys all coming in the spring, what does that say about Ted Roof and his defensive coaching? Uh, they've been doing a great job of uh, bringing in transfers and um, blending them into the culture and uh, making sure they understand uh, what's going on. So shout out to the coaches and what they've been doing. They've been doing a great job. And uh, the guys, as a player, you know, you got to actually be willing to learn and uh, to listen to those kind of things. So I feel like uh, heads off to the players, um, to Mac and I believe uh, for um, for taking that coaching, you know what I'm saying, and, and making that a better person and, and showing on the field. Obviously, if you guys did not take care of business in the first two weeks, you lose in the locker room, be a lot different. Are you guys more focused in now knowing that this is a different kind of opponent you're going to face besides New Hampshire and seeing the say that TCU is uh, a level up that you guys have to really be focused in on and be on your feet? Uh, uh, yes, sir. So TCU, of course, our first Big 12 opponent. So that's huge. You know, Big 12. We're, we came into the, the to the year with the goal of being a championship team. So like, it's the first step. So it's obviously um, some pressure that comes with that. But I feel like as a group, um, we're we're focused and we're focused on the, the task at hand each week each week here. And so uh, I think the guys have been doing a great job of focusing each each week on the task at hand, getting the win. Uh, that's the goal. So um, yeah. So do you like playing on the road? Do you, do you enjoy road atmosphere? Fans chanting, you know, uh, calling your names, maybe. You know, do you do love that kind of atmosphere when you're when you're away from home? Uh, yes, sir. I actually feed off energy like that. So um, energy come my way, man. I just love it. It just it helps me out as far as the game. So I know you talked about you. Know, you see, it was kind of a dream of yours. You first thought about walking on here years ago, coming out of high school. But now to have the opportunity to play your final year here. You get to play this Big 12 schedule. So how much are you personally looking forward to some of these experiences? It's going to be, you know, a hostile environment, probably a lot different than maybe what you had at your previous school. So how much are you looking forward to it? I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it's a great opportunity, another opportunity, opportunity number three coming up. And I think it's just a great blessing, man. God works in mysterious ways. God put me here for a reason. I really believe that. And the people around here have definitely been very supportive. So I'm just really, really ready to put on for, uh, for UCF. What are the points of emphasis this week for this defense to improve the performance that we saw the last two games? 
Um, I think uh, as a group, we, uh, we've been playing um, playing pretty decently so far. It's obviously always a room for improvement, and we're going to attack those. We're going to attack improvement uh, like no other, especially going into the week because uh, Coach talked about improvement from week two to week three. Championship teams, they always improve and find a way to improve. So, uh, what are you focusing on? What are we focusing on? Yeah, to improve. Uh, focusing on improvement, man. We focus on improvement. The, the, the coaches points that our coaches are bringing up in practice and stuff like that, and it means we take we take those to heart and we're we're listening and we, that's what we use to to focus on to make sure we're improving. The only time in the first half Sam Houston got on your side of the field was on the trick play. What kind of confidence do you take into confidence play now? Um, I think we uh, I think we have a really talented room uh, as far as defensively. Um, we've got guys who've been working really hard at their craft, and that just that just helps uh, push other people. You see somebody else working out hard, man, that dude wants it, man. You know what I'm saying? You want to play for people like that. Dudes up front like Ricky, Lee Barger. Um, Ricky and Lee. <laughs> yeah, but uh, dudes, uh, dudes up front like that, man, those dudes working hard every day. And, um, and so seeing people like that on your team, you just want to play for them. You want to play hard. Put it all down on the field for them. I know you're just kind of getting into the game plan and scouting report, but looking at TCU, are there some some names or some numbers that you're watching on film that pop out to you of guys you're going to have to try to defend on Saturday? Um, I know they have a really uh, they have a veteran group at receiver. Um, they have some dudes that are going to be seniors this year, so I know those guys are going to be hungry. So it's going to be a lot of film to break down and um, take into. I know they've had two games so far, so we'll be watching those two games and seeing what we can. Um, they have a talented group. We know that going into it, but uh, we're confident what we can do as a group as well. So. Um, we're, gonna, uh, we're looking forward to the for the challenge. You're back, guys. Yeah. And yeah, just 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 talk about just what a showcase opportunity this is for UCF. You just two and zero, but you know these two games really haven't gotten much national traction just because of the opponent. But you you play TCU. It's the Big Twelve opener. It's on Fox prime time on Saturday night. Just talk about what a big opportunity and showcase potential this is for UCF. Man, that's a it's, it's a great opportunity for us. You know, it, like you said, prime time. It's gonna be a lot of people watching. You know, so we gotta be ready on our end. So like you know, as players, you know, we kind of wanna be baseline, stay even keel, kind of focus on what we can control and focus on the, uh, the things at hand so we can make sure we perform at a high level. You think about everything out, you, you look at all the other stuff, you're not necessarily focused on what you need to do with performing. So uh, we try to keep that in mind. Good stuff. Thanks so much. Thank you, Sean.